Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And joining us a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for the Raptors. And it's Marcus Canby, an unbelievable rebounder and defender, holding it down at the center. A big game for this young man, making his NBA debut. Then it's Williams. And it's Jones in at the power forward position. And for Dallas, we've got Bradley. He'll be looking to control the boards tonight and provide that key offensive production from inside. And it's Green in at the four. This last summer, the Mavs asked fans to submit some redesigns of their uniforms for future use. Always kind of neat to see when a team and organization reaches out for the fans' input. Here's Christie. Outside Williams. Toronto working the ball around now. Camby passes to Christie. Camby guarded by Bradley. Lock at six. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And back to the Mavs. Definitely a big move by them to reach out like that. Nothing like bringing crowdsourcing to the NBA and building a bridge, you know, Steve, with your fan base. You know, Kevin, I had a chance to see some of the designs uh, of the uniforms that were being suggested. Some pretty sharp-looking duds, but there were some other ones that were absolutely hideous. So let's hope the decision-makers in the Mavs organization pick some of the... Uh, I'd say the more clean-looking new uniform suggestions. Back to Harper. Three-pointer. Toronto grabs the miss. Here's Christie. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Now the Mavericks with it. It's a three-point game. Pass to Strickland. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Jones drives in. Good. You know, there's no fear out of him, guys. I mean, going straight to the hoop against a much bigger defender, uh, he's got a lot of heart. Al Finley lets it go with a three. Offensive rebound. Green kicks to Finley. And another shot. And it's Green missing. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Here's Camby, and the layup's good off the glass. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. So it's the Mavericks now. Bank in off the glass. He's so reliable. You know, his offense seems to be consistently there for this team. Passes it to Christie. There's a screen. Got it up. And that's not going to go. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Toronto ahead, up three. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? And I thought the defense was key here for this club. They really tightened up and made it difficult on their opponent. How about the help on the drives and rotations? I mean, they've really been in sync as a unit. Help the bucket. They're not going to run that play very often. But hey, they'll take it. Way to notch that three. You know, it wasn't a surprise that the Raptors struggled on the road. Most young teams do. They were 13 and 28 as the visiting team. They did end the year looking a lot more dangerous on the road than they started, though. Here's Finley, and it's Dallas with another. Well, here in the second, not as listless. They're showing some signs of life offensively. Well, great sign because after that poor first quarter, now they're playing better offensively and they have the lead. Here's Christie, and he jams it with authority. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to Come see in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even a 
exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you frustrated know. Steve is over well, here. I just, uh, you know what, oh, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. I mean, he threw it down with force. Well, Clark, you were talking about the Raptors' struggles on the road. They didn't have the best road record at the end of the season, as you said, but, Steve, they did show some bite with their play. You know, one of the interesting stats from the Raptors last year is they actually scored more points on the road than they did at home, and that rarely happens in the NBA. But I, I think the big thing with Toronto, their defense has to improve more than anything else. Here's Walker. Davis with the block, and he recovers it. Walker's shot is off. The Raptors have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Right with it. Now guarded by Reeves. Back to right. Intercepted. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Toronto shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, they were very pleased with their free throw numbers a year ago. They knocked down about 79% from the stripe as a team. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. Pack passes to Brandon. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Fades and shoots. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Mavericks lead by one. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. Now, presented by Sprint. And a fun game going out in the borough of Brooklyn. Thanks for joining us. Dallas battling in a close one against Toronto. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. A nice contribution by A.C. Green, giving them a lift. No big numbers by his name in the box score, but he's doing the little things out there to try and get his team the win. On the other side, the Raptors looking pretty solid as well. They're doing well inside. Big bodies, big points in the paint advantage. Doug Christie making a big contribution. And what a game from the Camby man, Marcus Camby. And that's all we have for you here in the studio. Now let's send it on back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke for the second half of play. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And welcome back to New York City as we look at an enchanting view of Lady Liberty. Dallas usually does well against the Eastern Conference, and even in a year when they were struggling, that still was the case. The Mavs posted a 500 or better record against every division in the Eastern Conference. It's Bradley on the wing. Left side, Bradley. Makes it off the glass. Bradley's got the first field goal, the second half for Dallas. Raptors trail by three. Dallas did finish 41 up and 41 down in the year. Oh, oh, man, that was unreal. Mark it up. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go <laughs> for it, didn't he? I'm with, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? And so it's Dallas with it. After the Raptors pick up two. On the pass to Strickland. And Dallas again with the bucket. We've got 108 left to play in the third. Stoudemire against Harper. Jones sets the pick for Stoudemire. And even three on three break. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the third. Good! Six points for him. Raptors trail by five. 
I'd like to see them go two for one here. I would, too. They need to make this a quick possession and a fruitful one, too. Kevin, his defensive abilities really set him apart. I think he's one of the league's best defenders. You know, the saying goes that great defense beats great offense, but great defense is more consistent. That shooting touch can come and go, but he's not going anywhere. Well, no team likes to have their first-round pick belong to another team. It gets worse when you're a lottery team yourself and you're trying to build your talent base up. But the Raptors' number 12 pick in this summer's draft went to one of the elite teams in Oklahoma City. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Jones with it. Now Green defending. Polk loose. It's stolen by Bradley. Here's Finley, and the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block, but that one's going to count. Stoudemire with the ball. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The shot's good from Christie. Heaves it up. No good. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. The Mavericks on top, up two. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter, and if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Mavericks. From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. The other thing that jumps out to me is just the big number of assists they had. The offensive efficiency has been a major factor. The score now all even. Miller's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Toronto. Yeah, he's just embarrassing the defense right now because he didn't really need to double clutch there. Here's the dish to Bradley. Got it. Good job in the low post. You know, it was a pretty poor display from the field for them in the first half, but they've got the lead, and now the shots are starting to fall. Now, they shot under 40% before the break, and that had to change coming into the second half, so now they're starting to figure it out. The offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old-school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy lay. Earn it from the line. Marcus Kennedy, he's checked in for the Raptors. Jones comes in for Rockets into green and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed and you can feel the crowd react as one yeah that guy got him out of their seats yeah, and they, off their they, hands guys they just exploded when it went down Stoudemire with the ball now guarded by Strickland Christie can't make it Dallas leading by three pass to Finley uncovered Christie with the rebound. Well, that's a warm-up jumper there. I mean, when you're a pro, you can't make excuses for missing that one. The Mavericks have gone two or three to the field to get the fourth quarter start. Parker with the ball. Williams picks him up. Forty seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. They kick it out to Green. That one rolling around and runs out. The Raptors have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Christie the best to start him. He nails it, and we're tied up. Oh, what a basket, and at the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. Stoudemire against Harper. Here's the screen. He passes it to Finley. Down to five on the shot clock. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. Toronto calls timeout. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Christie. Oh, he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn.
We've got overtime action now, folks. Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, Doris Burke on our sideline, and this is Kevin Harlan. It'll be the Raptors off the tip, so the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Here's Camby. Jones, the pass to Christie. He kicks to Stoudemire. Christie. Back to Stoudemire. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Williams dishes to Stoudemire. Just find the shoot. To take the lead. Nails it. And that's what you love to do as the road team, Kevin. Hit the big shot to take the crowd right out of Yeah, they've done that for sure. They sure have. And that shot right there had a huge effect on this crowd. Here's Dynamite. Stoudemire off the pick from Jones. Here's Camby. Shot is good. But oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the release. And the officials do need to look at the replay. You know, the basket may count after all. We'll see. No guarantees this outcome is going to remain the same. The officials signal, yes, the basket will indeed count, and we have a new winner in this one. Oh, man, what a difference this replay rule makes. I mean, in the end, it decides the game. And so the big win by Toronto in a tight game. You know, Clark, they couldn't put them away in regulation, but after a superb performance in overtime, they managed to get the job done. Yeah, just an amazing game, but they pulled away at the end. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, Doug Christie.